I'm the kind of person who uses lip balm constantly. I always carry one with me and I wanted to see if I could make one that is 1000 times larger. The first step was to figure out how one of these lip balm tubes works and so I tore one open to get a look inside. Next I grabbed a pair of calipers and modeled all of the different parts in 3D on my computer. If I'm going to be printing something big, that's going to be a lot easier to do on a big printer and on a fast printer. Fortunately, this right here, the AnyCubric Cobra 2 Max is both. AnyCubric sent me this printer to try out and I have to say I am very happy with how it worked for this project. It is huge and it is quick and those are the two main things I wanted, but it also does a pretty good job with like resolution and detail. So overall, definitely a fan. Using the Cobra 2 Max, I got all the parts printed. Now everything here is scaled up. 10 times, meaning it is 10 times as wide, it is 10 times as deep, and it is 10 times as tall as a traditional lip balm, which means overall the volume, the total volume of this lip balm container will be 1,000 times the normal size. It needs to be in fewer pieces. That's gotta go on that, that's gotta go on that. Put together, this goes in there and on that. How long I need my all thread to be. Gotta cut that. Down at the bottom of this tube, hello, there's a little hole and that hole is supposed to be precisely measured so that it will fit over this portion, this ring right here, but have a little bit of space on these flat parts here. So now I have to fit the plastic over this part and it's gonna be a little finicky, I can tell. Let's try it. When I say it's gonna be a little bit finicky, that's code for me saying, I hope I don't break something badly. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of trimming on the edges of this piece to make it fit a little bit better. Maybe a bit of sanding as well. Ah, oh, it worked. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. It rotates, it doesn't come off. It doesn't even like have any play. Oh, it works so nice. Look at that. Mm. See the threads inside? Now I've got this part here that I call the carriage. Uh, it has threads running down right here. It'll fit onto that spiral threaded rod and it has little notches to engage with some little flanges on the inside of the tube. That should hold it straight without twisting it all and it should travel up and down when I spin the spiral thread. I actually don't know if the lid goes on well yet. I'm gonna have to sand some of that down too. I'll work on that. In the meantime, I don't just want the giant container. I want this to be functional. I want a 1000 times the size lip balm, including the actual lip balm. So to make that, I've got five pounds of beeswax, got more than five pounds of coconut oil, and five pounds of shea butter. I'm gonna melt all that down and pour that into my handy dandy lip balm mold. So what is this thing? Why am I not just pouring my lip balm liquid into this? Well, I've got a couple of reasons. It's gonna be a hot liquid. I gotta melt all the waxes and the shea butters and the oils. And I don't know what the overlap between temperature of the mixture and the melting point of 3D printing plastic is. This is just PLA plus. The other main reason is that while in a normal lip balm thing, the carriage can like have a flexible plastic that engages with the walls and that can act as a sort of a barrier so you can just inject and fill directly into the tube. I don't think I have quite that good of a seal in here and it's also gonna have like 15 pounds of liquid on it, not like a fraction of an, just a few grams. So I think that it would cause problems if I poured it into here. So I printed off this. It is the same size and shape on the inside except for the shape at the very bottom of the carriage, get to that later. But it has thinner walls. It has a bottom that is just sealed on of hot glued around the bottom 
bottom. And you can see I've got these dimples all through it. And those are spots where the walls get extra thin so that I can actually submerge this whole tube in water as it cools down. I haven't tried this before, so everything could still go terribly wrong. Oh, I should have warmed that up first. Or used a more rigid spoon. That's what that tool's meant for. My hands are gonna be so hydrated. Now we're gonna melt this down. Two hours later. Everything is nice and melted down, so it is time to pour. I hope this goes well. <laughs> Lower it down as the weight lets it go into the water. Well, I think casting this worked out pretty well. So now I have to get it out, but as it's cooled, it's contracted some, you can see the divot that formed, but it also pulled away from the sides a little bit. And that might make it possible to just slide the whole thing out without like warming the edges or anything. I was concerned about that, but I feel like there's just a little bit of space, some flex. First, gotta get the bottom off. I cut a tiny piece of the glue that it was holding on and uh, I think it'll just peel right off. <laughs> Look at that, that looks great. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's so perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, behold the core for the largest lip balm ever. All right, so it's not quite ready to go into the main chapstick tube here because it actually has to fit into the carriage housing. And well, it doesn't right now. They're, they're basically the same diameter. So at least that much of it needs to be uh, narrowed along the sides. I can make an indentation that shows what size it needs to get down to. That far down. Oh, I can already tell that by the time I'm done with this, my hands are going to be so moisturized. Now, my uh, giant lump of lip balm here is far too hard to really fit around the threads. And so I need to basically carve out a channel for that threaded piece that goes all the way up through this. And to do that, I've got this copper pipe, which is basically the diameter. And hopefully I'll be able to sort of melt a channel down as deep as I need to through the piece. Here we go. Press fit, going okay. Definitely uh, had some extra, that's fine. Looking good. It's actually not far off, but it is off. We have it engaging. It is lowering. That's a good sign. <laughs> oh, perfect. And it seems to be wanting to stop right about there. I think the uh, the thread spindle is actually bumping into where I didn't carve a hole in the balm at that point, but yes. Up, down, oh, victory. It's working, the lip balm is in the tube. I'm very excited about that. Even got a lid that I can throw right on there. So now it's time to make it look just a little bit more like an actual lip balm container. All right, made myself a label for this thing, and it needs a little trimming before I attach it, so. Uh... A huge thank you shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon, you guys rock. If you want to join my amazing Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description. But a real lip balm tube is just shiny. You know, this is, this is sort of a matte shine, no, no. We want it shiny, and they've all got a plastic label coating on them, so we're gonna use some shrink wrap. Would you look at that? It's a giant thing of lip balm. I can't actually open it right now. I sealed it shut. That's how they arrive when you get them new at the store. You have to break the seal, so I'm gonna... I'm not strong enough to just twist through this one, so I gotta cut it free. Oh, there we go. 
Come on, come on, lid. There. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Just. Ugh, it's so convenient to use. Mm. Oh, perfect. Mm. So much easier than my normal lip balm. It's way better to have one like this that you couldn't possibly misplace. Easily portable. Guaranteed to last a lifetime. Are you tired of running out of your lip balm? Have we got the solution for you. Uh, I assume this is the largest one in the world. I don't know. Someone else might have made one bigger at some point, but I haven't seen it. Very happy with how this turned out. Scaled up. It looks right. It works the same way, the same mechanical function. The lip balm part is fine too, you know. Mm. Yeah, that seems like it's just fine. A single, full, unused, normal lip balm. Clocks in on this scale at between 0.2 and 0.3 ounces. We'll call it 0.3 ounces. And the big boy here, coming in at 13 pounds, 7.2 ounces. I have to do math on this, I have, I have no idea. It's not fully a thousand times the weight. And I would say that's probably because all of the plastic, rather than being solid density, is 3D printed. It's hollow. Like every bit of plastic on here is hollow. It has some support structures inside, but it's not full. I may not have filled like the 100% capacity, but we're pretty close at like 800 times the weight. If you're here from the Jerry Rig Everything S24 Ultra Teardown, here is the aluminum that's just about all that's left of that phone. I am doing a giveaway for this. If you want to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and somewhere use the word aluminum and nifty, NFTI. In three days, I'll pick a winner at random and I will message you to let you know that you've won. I loved pretty much every part of this project except trying to get the carriage and the, the balm itself to line up right. That part was annoying. Everything else was really cool and it worked really well. So this was a good growth in terms of my 3D modeling ability as well. What else do you want to see made giant? I, I think I could do more of these things. I enjoy scaling stuff up for no reason. This is a good one.